This is TJ. In this video, I want to quickly show you five websites that you can use for downloading free fonts that you can use in your creative projects, or you can put them on your website, or do whatever you want with them. In most cases, you can use them for both personal and commercial use. Just be sure to check the licensing. These websites are openfontlibrary.org, fontsquirrel.com, 1001fonts.com, fontsc.com, and urbanfonts.com. And all these websites are legitimate free websites to download from. They're not going to give you viruses. Um, you don't need to log in or provide any email address or anything like that. You can just download directly from the sites. So I'll go through. I'll download a, web, uh, a font from each one of these websites um, and show you kind of what they're like. This first one, Open Font Library, is really cool. It has uh, open source fonts. So if I just click on a font here, um, all of the fonts are licensed under the Open Font License, or I believe all of them are. And um, so it shows you some, some what the font looks like. I can type in um, my own thing here and see what it looks like. I can view it. Um, there's different ways. If I click on catalog here, I can view the fonts as like a, in a paragraph. So I can see kind of what it would look like if it was written like on a printed page or in a paragraph on my website. I can look at just a sentence um, or I can look at it at, as an individual word. I can change the size. Um, yeah, and then if you just click on one, go into it, tells you about the license. Um, you can click on this license to read more details about the open font license and what restrictions there are with it, but it's a very open, very liberal license. Just click download up here to download the font, and now it's saved to your computer. Um, so yeah, that is openfontlibrary.org. Oh, also, if I want to embed this font and use it on my website, I can just use these HTML and CSS codes over here. So, that is Open Font Library. This next one, fontsquirrel.com, um, also has a ton of free fonts. You can search um, different ways by um, um, different types, like calligraphy. So it has 80 fonts that are tagged under calligraphy. So if I want this one, I can just click download right now and download it. The TTF is the format it, it, it's in. Here's an OTF format of a different one. If I click on it, I can find more information about it. Um, if I click on the license tab here, I can read about um, this license and what I can do with it. So it's free for private and charity use. They are even free for commercial use. But if there's any profit, please make a donation to the organization like Doctors Without Borders. So that's a pretty cool license. Um, no restrictions, but donations are encouraged. Um, to download it, we just click download and just save it. And there you go. And then here's the, the name of the author and again on open font library we can read about the author or the creator of the font as well so we can give attribution and give credit to them if we if we'd like to do that too but I don't believe it's required under uh, well read each license to make sure um, okay this next one 1001 fonts.com this is pretty cool I mean it just shows like the font here these tags here red dollar sign tag means it's you can only use it for, for personal use if you can't use it commercially the green dollar sign tag means you can use it for commercial use. So this one here, Raw Regular by this person here, Noi Araj Araho. Um, if I click download, I can just go save, and that's it. And I think if we click on a license, does it tell us information about the license? Pretty cool font. Free, yeah, free for commercial use. Um, so there's ways we can probably get more information about the license here. Um, Maybe we can read the frequent, frequently asked questions um, on this website to see. But we can search by different sizes, um, different occasions like wedding, search by um, width of fonts and letters. So lots of different ways you can search. Anyway, that's 1001 fonts. This next one, fontsc.com. Um, also, I mean, you're kind of probably kind of seeing a pattern here. They're all kind of similar. They just so, show what the font looks like. You click download and download the font. Whoa, Yahoo. So, but but this is freeware, personal, or non-commercial use, so you can't use it commercially. I don't think it's the same like font that Yahoo uses. I think it's a different one. Um, let's find one that we can use for commercial use. So this font C, how about we go hand-drawn, and um, so here's one, free for commercial use. So I can click on it. I can find out more information about it when it was uploaded. 208 people have downloaded it, or it's been downloaded 208 times. Um, and then we can read about the licensing from this website because I always like to find like the actual license like if it's the open source the open font license that's nice here's the character map of each of the characters on this 
So just showing you some different features of the of each of the websites. But then we'll click download and we can download and save this one. So now we have all these fonts, you know, that we've downloaded. They're all zip files, so we have to unzip them or extract them. So you might want to if you're not familiar with that, you can search on how to do that. Um, this last one, urbanfonts.com, just shows the fonts again. If you see one that you like, you just click on it. And then you can read about um, down here, I believe. So Please review any files included with your download, which are usually include information on the usage and license. Oh, that's right. So in these zip files, there's usually information about the licensing as well. So that, that's how come I couldn't find it on like this um, this other site here. So yeah, um, that's the, just the character map. So if you want to download this, click click download, and we'll go save, and there we go. And this Urban Fonts also has some premium fonts that cost. So they do free fonts and premium fonts. If you look at the, if we go to the premium ones, we can just see about, uh, you know, buying fonts. There's all kinds of sites online that where you can buy fonts. So, but these are just know that it has premium and free ones. Okay, well, those are the ones I wanted to show you. Let's just go into the this uh, last one that I downloaded, and uh, we'll look and see. So here is the um, information here about the font. I opened it twice. Um, so we can read. So this is font is 1,000% free and may not be sold. It's freely distributed under the freeware font. Um, so it's information about where it came from, who created it, and what it can be used for. So hopefully you found this video informative. Check out my other videos here on YouTube. I have videos about um, free stock video footage, free audio, free pictures, um, all kinds of free software and high-quality um, alternatives to proprietary paid software. So yeah, appreciate you watching this video. Subscribe and like if you um, found it informative, and we'll catch you on the next video. Hello, Take care. this is Richard from the WordPress ERP team. In this video, I will show you how to create and manage your job posting easily with WordPress ERP. Let's start. First, go to WordPress HR Management. From the More drop-down menu, select the Recruitment section and click on Add Opening. You will be seeing the entire process of job posting now. First, write down the job title. Provide the job description. Then hit the next button. In hiring workflow, select how many hiring stages you want to set for your candidates. Next up, provide the details about the post under the job information section. Set the required job experience, a submission deadline, location, and number of vacancies. Then go for the next stage. Here you can select the basic information fields you want to ask from your candidates. In the final step, you can select a questionnaire for the candidates. You can add or remove as many question sets as you want from here. So, you are all set. Hit on the preview button to see how the job post appears on your website front end. Want to see how the job post is performing? Get back to the back end. Go to the job post. You'll be seeing an overview of the job opening and candidates. Browse through the hired, rejected, withdrawn, and declined offer tabs to get your desired data. You can also see applicants' performance and work status entirely from their profile. More advanced features are available as well. Add comments, rate your applicants, or add to do for them easily from here. This is how you can create openings and manage candidates easily and more efficiently with WPERP recruitment. Go grab WordPress ERP HR tool for your business and experience a smart human resource management.